What's up guys, welcome back to JR Business. I hope you all are having an awesome day. Christian and I just finished up a really, really fun day. We were busy filming the McLaren wrap reveal. By the time this video goes live, it's probably already live on our car channel, JR Garage, so go check that out. But today was a fun day, but now we're back at the office, back to business, shipping out orders, getting everything caught up. And you guys have never been here at the office. So here you can see a little bit of the madness behind me with all the coins inventory going everywhere. But comment down below if you want some sort of a tour. I've never shown you guys this area before. I've always just filmed in the warehouse. Um, but if you wanna see more, we can happily do that. But this is where the action happens. This is where we spend most of our time that's not on YouTube or hanging out, driving cars, that kind of thing. It's here working. So I'm bringing you guys behind the scenes today where I got a couple cool things behind me to show you guys. And you all see the title. Some massive return on a coin. I don't know, it's the biggest, our biggest return ever on a flip. You guys have asked so many times to see more coin and numismatic content. As you guys know, that's a big industry we're involved in and uh, it's definitely something we're very passionate about and it was cool to see you guys were also very passionate about it. Cool, we're, we're down to make some more coin videos so that's what I have for you today. Talking all about our biggest return ever. Not the most amount of profit, the biggest return percentage-wise, return on the investment. So Christian and I put a lot of time into this question because we have done tens, uh, we've done over 100,000 transactions. So picking out which transaction had the biggest ROI, uh, we definitely had to put some thought into it, but we figured it out and we have the one that is by far a bigger return percentage-wise than any other deal we've done. Like we said, it's not profit-wise, biggest dollar figure. Uh, one of the largest ones we've touched on in a previous video, making $10,000 in a day at 12 or 13 or something like that. That's way back on the channel, but if you wanna go watch that, that's one of our biggest returns amount-wise, profit-wise. Before I get into the exact coin deal, uh, I will touch on the $5 bill because I mentioned it last video. That's what sparked today's video. I got a lot of DMs from last video saying, hey, can you touch more on that $5 bill story? But these $5 bills, I was at a coin shop on our Western road trip going through Montana, Wyoming, the, the, the Dakotas, and this little coin shop in Wyoming had this group of about 50 1934 $5 bills, looking very similar to this, in fantastic condition. So I'll give you a little look at them. So they're all dated 1934, many consecutive notes. So this group has been together for decades and that's why they stayed in such good shape. 1934 is a fairly common series. We printed a lot of notes. Despite it being during the Great Depression, you would think, oh, money must be very rare. In low grade, this $5 bill would be worth like $6. But in high grade, they bring a decent premium, maybe 20, 30, 40, $50 and on up. So I asked the guy, I said, okay, 50 bills here. What's the take it all price? He says $8 each. I'm like, oh my goodness. So eight times 50 notes, you know, whatever it was, 400 bucks approximately. Now, that alone would have been a great enough deal given that these notes are worth, like I said, maybe 30 or 40 bucks a piece in this uncirculated condition. One of them in particular was worth a massive premium. And that bill is right here. I sent off to grading, just got it back. Let me show it to you. As you can see here, it's certified. I, again, I got, I'll touch on all this in future videos, what it means to certify something with a third party, what it means to grade something. Bills and coins are graded on a 70 point scale, 70 being perfect, one being awful. Like it is hard to find a bill in one point. That's just terrible. What makes it so crazy and what makes it so valuable, if you see where I'm pointing, that little star. It has a star on it, no big deal, right? Well, that star makes this note extremely rare. The star note variant of the San Francisco 1934 $5 bill in 63 is valued at $1,250. Now, I was thinking that could grade even higher, so that's why I was saying up to $2,000. It's because I didn't have it back from grading. And then the next grade up, it goes up to $1,750. Paid $8, it's worth $1,250. Retail, that's a massive return, 100 and something times um, on our money. That's good. And it's not even that rare. We have so many deals that have just ginormous returns. Um, here it is. I was sorting through a bunch of V nickels. Again, all this is gonna sound foreign to you. I promise I will make more coin videos to show you guys more of what we do and to educate you a little bit because we find coins and currency so interesting. You know, each one of these things tells a story back here. If only you could, if only these coins could talk and tell their story. But anyway, I was sorting through a ton of these V nickels. They made them from 1883 to 1912. 
and they're worth about a buck a piece, just average condition ones, right? We bought like a thousand of them from a coin shop. We don't normally sort through them super closely because oftentimes the coin shop sorts through them. They probably already plucked out all the good things. But when we're mailing out orders, we'll go through them again and just, just to like make sure nothing crazy's in there. Well, we were sorting through those and guess what we find? I'll zoom in once again so you can see it. An 1886 dated V-nickel. What's an 1886 V-nickel worth? Once again, we'll go back to the price log. 1886 right here is valued at $275. In good condition, the lowest grade, good four. Four out of 70. See, you're learning it's on a 70 point scale. And this would grade, yeah, about a four. It's very dark, so that, that definitely loses some value. See how brown it is? It's, it's supposed to be silvery looking like a nickel. Um, but that's okay, it's still a rare date, clearly a visible date. So this is probably worth maybe eh, $100, say, because it's not in super good condition. So $100, and we paid, uh, we got these in bulk for 50 cents each. So there's a 200X return. 200X return, even better than the $5 bill. So right there, and that, that's just something we found today. So boy, oh boy, you can get really, really lucky. And it's not as much luck. It's just having the knowledge up here and spending the, well, we've been doing it for over a decade. So 10 years been in the industry to know the better dates, the better condition ones, to know star notes, all these little things. But you can learn too. So I hope you guys are finding this valuable and drop a comment down below if you want more coin videos. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about the best return ever shifting gears here we're going away from us coins and we're going into foreign coins so right here is like 20 pounds of mixed foreign coins we primarily do us united states coins that's the best market in the world but foreign coins are really cool right you get all across the world you get weird sizes you get weird metals so that foreign we bought for four dollars and fifty cents a pound four dollars and fifty cents a pound common foreign is sold by the pound not individually. It would take you forever to sell these coins individually. They're just not worth anything. A lot of them are obsolete, so you sell them by the pound. And the going rate in wholesale is four to five dollars per pound. And then retail, we sell it between ten and twenty dollars per pound. So making a nice little return there. Costs a lot to ship. It's annoying. You know, it's, it's heavy. You know, a lot of people don't want to mess with it, but we do. In this case, we bought about a thousand pounds from this guy. 1,000 pounds of foreign coins. There's about 100 foreign coins per pound. So what is that? 100,000 foreign coins we bought. Once again, we don't normally sort through this stuff because it's like, it's just not worth our time. But this coin shop in particular said, oh, this stuff's been building up in my basement of this coin shop for like 30 years. You better go through it. Like I didn't search it. And I'm like, Okay, you know, everyone says they didn't search it, you know, to make it seem more valuable. So we start like scooping out some coins and I see like unbelievable stuff. Coins from the 1600s, 1700s, silver coins. So check this out. Um, let me just show you a little idea of what we're working with here. So these are just some, I mean, these are literally, I just scooped out some handfuls. So you got really cool coins. I mean, even if you're like not a big coin collector, you can still definitely appreciate some of these coins. Like this one definitely looks to be Greek just by the <laughs> dude on the front. Looks like that's in Greek. So again, probably not worth a whole lot, but it's just cool. Okay, we got some Mexican stuff. We got some stuff that's just not too valuable. This is a small percentage silver. So that's cool. This is a silver coin. Can, you can hear it, it sounds a little bit different. Something cool about this coin, even though you can't see what year it's from, this is from the early 1790s. On the front, if you know your history, this is King Louis XVI of France. This is the guy who was a bad fella and uh, got his head chopped off with uh, his uh, wife, you know, let them eat cake, so. But it's not really worth much. In this condition, it's only worth a few dollars. Like, very cool, coin from the 1700s in form. This is a Canadian bank token, um, so it should say on there something about Canada. Bank of Montreal, so, you know, not super rare once again, but it's still like a 10 or $15 coin. And with it weighing this much, we probably paid like 10 cents for it in weight. So that's a really high return as well. But there is one coin in particular that has a bigger return than all of these combined. And it's an American coin. Wait a second, we were just talking about foreign coins. What, why are you talking about an American coin? Well, that little coin that has made for our biggest return ever, percentage wise, is right here. Can you see it? I, I can't even like zoom in on this. I'm gonna show you close up overlay B-roll. Uh, but what we have here is one of the smallest US coins ever made. And this is a $1 gold 
coin. If you didn't know, we made various gold coins over the years, starting in 1796. 1796 was our first gold coin. First coin was 1793, most will say the 1793 chain cent. Nerding out once again. So one dollar coins starting in 1849. So this one in particular is in 1853, the most common date. If you can see where I'm going here, this coin was found in this bag. Mixed in with generic foreign coins, obsolete foreign coins mostly, worth little to nothing. So what's crazy is on the front of the coin, it just has Lady Liberty, but you can't really tell, nothing says United States of America on the front. Obviously the shop owner and employee way back in the day, whatever it may be, I don't know. They must have just thought it was a foreign coin because they are very rare, you don't see a lot of them, and they're so small, most people don't know we made a coin this small, that they think it's just foreign and they mix it in with the various other foreign coins which look pretty similar to it. How about this one from Hong Kong? Ooh, gold and shiny, right? It's a gold coin, right? How about this one from France? How about this one from Barbados? How about this one from Greece? They're all gold looking, but none of them have any value whatsoever. So. Totally, the person mixed in these coins with that coin. That is my guess at what happened. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering, what is it worth? And what did you pay for it? Well, let's get the calculator and get down to business. So let's flip back to the handy dandy red book. If you guys are wondering, this is a good idea of something to get if you're interested in getting into coins. Now these are retail figures once again, so you should ideally be buying coins for much less than the prices figured in here, but this gives you an idea of what coins are worth. It's good for telling you mintages, the weights of coins, varieties, things like that. So I always have one laying around, but for our purposes, we need to know the weight of this coin so that we can calculate how much exactly we paid for it. So let's flip to $1 gold coins. This book has every coin in it. All right, let's verify if we were right with the first gold coin. Is it 1796? Bingo, 1796. And yeah, if you guys are lucky enough to have one of those in good shape, you're looking at close to maybe around $100,000 for a tiny gold coin that big. Goes to show how rare coins can be. Look at that, one of the finest known, probably the finest known, sold for $1.725 million. Once again, I could nerd out all night about this stuff, but yeah. Coins are valuable, take notes. Let's go look at how much they weigh. 1.672 grams. Hey Siri, how many grams in a pound? 453 grams. Okay, so if we pay $4.50 a pound, that means we are paying approximately one cent per gram. So if we do some quick math and we know that we are in each gram of coin about a cent at 1.672 grams, we're in this coin approximately 1.67 cents. What's it worth? Let's come over here to 1853. 1853p. It's not a Charlotte or Delagna or New Orleans. Uh, those would be worth a small fortune. But the P mint right here in about AU condition is worth $215. I've sold a lot of these. I can easily get between $200 and $250. So that's pretty accurate. And we paid 1.6 cents for it. So let's do the math. 215 divided by 0 0.0167. All right, so on this coin, we are going to make a 12,800x return and possibly slightly more if I sell for 250 bucks. So it's safe to say, you know, up to a 15,000 times return. So there you guys have it, an 1853 $1 gold piece that we found in foreign coins equates to a massive, massive return. I mean, what's the, what's the actual percent return? You know, like when you double your money, that's a 100% return. So what happens when you 12,500 times X your money? Uh, that's a big percentage, you guys get the point. Uh, so there you guys have it. That is definitely the biggest return ever. Once again, left and right, there's coins that we buy for a few dollars or $5 or $10 that we sell for 500, 1,000, 2,000 um, dollars. But that one technically beats it percentage wise. So uh, there you guys have it. There's a quick little video. There's a brief introduction and do more a little bit more about what we do i hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos if you want more of them believe me i would be happy to make them i don't know why we haven't made more in the past definitely a huge passion of ours but 
I don't know, I didn't know how well I would go over with you guys, but I mentioned it last video and you guys seem to love the idea of making more coin and currency videos. So remember to drop a comment down below and like this video for a chance to win a one ounce bullion silver piece, American Silver Eagle, a bar, whatever you want. We'll let you pick. You get one ounce of silver. We are picking that winner. Hopefully next video, we'll do a random comment generator. All you gotta do is drop a comment and like this video. So please do that. Thank you guys for watching till the end. If you did, you're a real one. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.